I cannot do non technical job i want only technical job so there was i was kind of guy who was more oh, uh, hyperactive uh, sometimes in oh. some i mean what if they give doka <laughs> it was is not a very huge amount mm. uh, if you're coming to a german city and that to in a place like aachen after coming to germany I, my brain got uh, yeah, in good pace but when i was looking for proper consultancies in return i had explained many what is the processes like never i never got any proper information when i was Hi everyone, I'm Shulir from RK Rossi Education, and uh, today I'm with uh, Mani Ganda, uh, one of my student. Uh, we made a video with him in 2021 when he came here for uh, his master studies in FH Aachen. So since then, like we have been always in touch. We discuss a lot of things on call as well, and eventually, like finally, I I'm here at Aachen again. I'm 24 now. Uh, for the proof, Aachen hot bar. Mm-hmm. Like uh, it's it's always great to discuss with Mani Ganda about all the uh, the possibilities of uh, education here and how the life here is in Germany and which is why I wanted to make this video where we can discuss about if someone else is also coming to not only to F H Aachen perhaps uh, in in other universities such as R W D H Aachen as well how the life there is in Aachen uh, what are the expenditures here how easy it is to get a uh, student job here in Aachen kind of. Uh, so all those things because Mani Ganda also makes his own videos. He's he's now a very good uh, blogger as well on YouTube, and a lot of people I know you would be following him as well uh, on on your channel as well. So let's hear it from him and only that uh, about how his experience in FH Aachen and al- also in Aachen has been uh, through all the years. So let me introduce him first. Uh, Mani Ganda, can you please give your uh, introduction first? Yeah, sure, sir. Uh, uh, I think you almost gave my introduction, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll also explain. Yeah. Uh, so my name is Mani Kanta. In short, Mani. So Anshul sir was was also talking about my YouTube channel. Yeah. So <clears throat> my name is Mani, and I am in Germany, right? So I named my channel as Jer Mani Vlogs. G E R M A N I. How so, thoughtful! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After coming to Germany, I, my brain got uh, yeah in good pace. But um, so I do content about Germany, studies in Germany, living in Germany. But in Telugu, my channel name is Germany Vlogs. I came to Aachen in 2022 March, so I'm doing my masters in International Automotive Engineering at FH Aachen University of Applied Sciences. So right after my bachelor's, I contacted Anshul Sharma. Uh, then uh, I got uh, his contact through my seniors. So Mr. Anshul, he he was always supportive uh, since the beginning of my application, and then yeah. uh right after coming even after coming to germany he was still giving me some guidance tips uh what all needs to do kind of thing and he was very helpful initially and then later i just uh, like was more into my classes and everything so when it comes to be uh, like living in aachen expenses yeah. so for rent i pay 350 euros approximately 130 for health insurance health insurance is mandatory and for for my groceries 150 euros so if okay. you consider like 650 euros here and some miscellaneous things if you want to buy a t-shirt jacket uh, shoes or if you want to go on a date something you need to spend 100 euros more Le- i'll say 750 euros for aachen standards so so i believe see 750 euros is not a very huge amount mm. uh, if you're coming to a german city and that to in a place like aachen which is a decent city mm. uh, i'll not call it as a tier 1 city but again it's a it's a big tier 2 city uh, yeah. aachen Fine. But if you get a student dorm in Aachen, yeah. you'll end up paying 280 euros, right. including all these things. Right. And also, I want to mention one thing. So Aachen is is a student city. So here, every member in Aachen is a student. Okay. So basically, Aachen has two universities. One is FH Aachen. One is RWTH Aachen. And under RWTH Aachen, there are approximately 150 research institutes only under one mechanical department. So same follows with the IT, electronics kind of thing. But mechanical thing has very huge research institutes here. And if you are efficient and intelligent guy, and you know the approach process, how to approach the institutes properly, how to apply to startups, you can easily find a student job. Uh, we call it student assistant job so i came in 2022 march i found a student job in 2023 january okay since 2023 january until today i am working as a student assistant so that is great yeah and uh, i earn about 1100 euros per month so yeah uh, revealing my 
no, it is important for them yeah. also to understand. See, like uh, many of you uh, doesn't come from a let's say a very rich exactly. uh, sort of a background, exactly. okay? and then you always have a questions whether Germany, uh, how much f funds you require to come to Germany, and whether you'll be able to sustain your studies on your own or not. Yeah. Now, it's a very good example from from uh, Mani Ganta. Like he he came here as a as a very passionate student, as I know him. Then he was very diligent to apply to all the opportunities that, that he was getting from the multiple research centers that he mentioned. Mm -hmm. Getting a job here secures your a lot of things uh, like you are financially uh, independent now. Why? You you come to Germany with a block account requirement mm -hmm. of eleven thousand nine hundred four euros as of now. It will be exhausted within one year. Okay, and within one year, if you can get a job such as what Mani Ganta has got of eleven hundred euros, you can easily save some money. As well as when you eventually go go uh, to the Austrian bureau day to extend your visa mm -hmm. because your visa didn't leave from India for one year, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. So after when your visa is about to expire, you eventually have to go to Austrian bureau day to extend your visa. Yeah. At that time, if they will see that okay, you're already working as a student, uh, you're doing a student job here in uh, Germany itself, then they will not ask you to refill the block account money in your bank account. Mm -hmm. That is true, right? Exactly. Because you already have a contract from one of the employers here who is who is giving you a salary. The Austrian bureau day or the German officials will understand that he has enough money, mm. or or perhaps he has uh, enough financial, uh, let's say, savings proof, proof uh, to to uh, submit to the German officials that he can manage his own expenses on his own. Exactly. Which which makes it very easy for someone who is studying into a public university that you are actually doing everything for free. You are exactly. not investing your parents' money. Exactly. Neither you are too much dependent on any education loan required. Right. Yeah. If I on this note only, if I ask you that. How much would have been your total expenses coming to Germany and till date? Yeah. How much would have spent, including the fees here in in Aachen? Yeah. So my university fees is 320 euros. Okay. Per semester. Per semester, approximately I spend 27,000 rupees per semester, which includes free transportation. Free transportation again means I can travel all over the Germany. Right. And also my semester ticket includes uh, some student uh, uh, programs where like if you have any problem, uh, legal notices kind of thing, there is always a lawyer from the university side who, okay. and some student body support as well. And I took 10 lakhs from my father as a blocked account. Okay. I, <laughs> I had a mission, okay, I'll take this 10 lakhs and I'll never ask any money from my father, but I cannot do non technical job i want only technical job so this was only the thing in my mind when i came here so initial 6 months i just settled down university classes notes libraries i just had some idea what the companies in aachen are looking for and the next 6 months what i did, did like i picked a course like i thought okay battery is booming so i took a course in battery developed my profile related to battery and then started applying to battery institutes and companies All right. so being as a student in germany the one one of the biggest advantages i would say like here you have the student teams so each university will be having some student teams working on some project right. so you can go there as a freelancer gain some experience and also use that in your resume and then because uh, student uh, teams have their own sponsors. Sometimes their sponsors also need students. So okay. finding a student job is not at all difficult if you are skilled. Develop skills and then start applying to HIVI. If you don't find HIVI, I mean student assistant job, even after 12 months, then you start looking for this non-technical. Yeah. Or else look for technical because my approach was I did a battery course and then I entered into a student team. Using these two things, I got a heavy. Using these three things, I got an internship. Right. Using these four things, I got my thesis. Maybe I'll I'll use these four to five things for my full time job. Full -time. Yeah. So okay. Now coming back to a point where he mentioned that uh, you should focus on your clearing your subjects and your studies first, and also to apply for the technical jobs. So let's suppose any one of you is coming from a technical background, engineering background perhaps, right? into Aachen or perhaps any other uh, German public university specifically. Doing the non-technical jobs or looking for other part-time options like like Amazon apps, working in any of the restaurant or uh, the lot of jobs available for delivery uh, mm. people here, right? in the front door and, and a lot uh, of other uh, websites. Volt. Volt, uh, for example. So okay. if you perhaps somehow manage to get a, a technical job, that will not only help you to earn money as well, but 
rather it will help you uh, eventually to find a full time employment exactly. as well exactly. because when you complete your studies your studies completion means you will be completing all the subjects which are there in exactly. the in the four semester or three semester of your masters exactly. course internship is mandatory to to submit uh, or to mm. complete in masters no like uh, some universities they ask for internship some they don't ask so personally when you ask about myself why i did like my university doesn't ask for an internship okay but i did not had any experience in india proper pro- proper experience okay. right after my graduation i took 6 months of preparation and then i came here so after coming here i was doing hivi i was okay hivi means student student skills craft okay student assistantship so then i thought maybe i'll also try internship because i feel my grades were not so good because uh, also one more thing i need to add students who are coming here make sure once after you reach germany to prioritize your studies because studying in germany is not as easy as of course compared to india that's the biggest See, uh, th- that i uh, i mean i've covered a lot of videos okay. on that topic as okay. well because studies like in india we know that if you if you're doing a btech course in india you always have this sort of a confidence that okay within one or two days before the exam you can yeah. you can study and you can clear the paper that is not going to happen ever in general Never. i failed in maths no, not only you the yeah. people are barely passing in german public exactly. universities exactly someone who is a topper uh, doesn't necessarily has to have a 95 99% exactly. you know? it is not possible exactly. in germany exactly. you are barely passing with a grade of let's say 3 3.2 and those students are also doing good you know? it exactly. doesn't mean that you are not good in studies it means that the the whole education system is so rigorous it is mm. so vast as well as so practical based exactly. that scoring the the highest grade or or grades into exactly. 80 by 90% True. is very difficult here and if you do not complete your studies also now in in the later stages or perhaps now as well in some of the cities the hostel of bilode has made clear points that if you are not able to pass the subjects either the university will ask you to to i mean they will not ask you to continue your further studies and your visa uh extension is going to face a lot of problems also exactly which is why passing the subject is yeah. is very much required that that's is. why try to finish as many subjects as you can in the first two semesters when you have your blocked account so right. later on when you can't find a technical job at least you can go for non technical job yeah. but still less burden on your studies of course now also the, because fhr can uh, requires you to have a uh, german language mm-hmm. proficiency mm-hmm. when you come here right mm-hmm. for your course specifically so y- you come prepared with uh, b1 you come prepared with a2 level i believe yeah, yeah right? a2 right. so can i see what is the level that you have mm, you done yeah in india i did until a2 of german Uh, because fh arkan it's it's it mandatory, mandatory to have the a2 level of sir now it is b1 basically at the time of his application no no even a2. now also it is b1 sir but the thing is like a2 for the admission huh. and by the time you register for thesis okay so basically thesis is a project work so by the time you register for your thesis you need to provide b1 but right after coming germany as i told first semester i was just setting up all the stuff i'm getting ready for the battle i collected all the weapons what i need in the second semester i started learning german third semester i gave my german b1 exam submitted already to the university so no problem but by the end of this course you will be ready with you should be ready with b1 and also the biggest advantage of having german language i at least b1 is i attended for four internship interviews hmm. three were in german okay so at least for the initial uh, talking it should be you should start the convo in german but i hope everyone can do if you just have to spend right amount of time and energy on german same time consistently right and also this is something that you should start doing from india only yeah. not wait for for you to get an admission into a university exactly. and then you are you are wasting your time thinking about whether you'll get the visa exactly. or not most of the cases 99.9% of the cases if you are coming to a public university in germany your visa will be granted at any cost so instead of wasting your time thinking of all those things you better start preparing for the german language back in india so that you come prepared here and almost all the public universities have their own language schools mm. also they will teach you the german language but they do expect you to have some sort of information exactly a1 a2 at least you know? exactly and this is something that it will help them also to find a job here true sir true and not only job the connections you sort of build here you you meet people you meet the professors the connection can only be built when you start talking to them in their own language exactly. they feel more connected exactly Anna? my course my course coordinator is very much aware me of now because <laughs> because i was i was kind of guy who was more 
oh, uh, hyperactive uh, sometimes in oh. some events so like you you'll develop connections like connections with professors definitely it will work one of my friend he got uh, assistant uh, ship under a professor who is the uh, some ceo of some company so sometimes your lecturers might be the ceos of some companies also yes, yes. so they'll come they'll teach you what the industry is having at the moment and also if there is a chance if you're good at your academics they can also pull you for example my course has this uh, uh, course on catia mm. so mechanical students who are listening uh, it is company under altair so doing a certification for altair might cost you 2 to 3 lakh rupees but if you are a student in fh akan if you register for that course you'll get for free once if you clear the exam right and also they provide student jobs if you perform well that's the thing so for neural network same thing happened for my friend no of course not only like you you the the, the professors are going to help you for for these things mm. even even if your professors gives you letter of recommendation or perhaps yeah uh, send in a request to any of the companies uh, here in germany basically hai na with his reference Uh, and again it will be very high chance for you to get a job and exactly. you know, with, with a such a strong references from exactly. the professor exactly. so it has like to, to sum it up like uh, if you are if you are coming to germany do not worry like say too much about the funding part try to focus on getting admission into a public university why we say english taught program is because we are aware with the with mm. the english language mm. german language you should learn because you have to communicate here mm. studying a course into german language would be very difficult that i usually not advise until it's a necessary for medical students here in germany else uh, you can definitely make your plans for germany and uh, opportunities are there 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 is no uh, let's say short shortage of any sort of opportunities if you are willing to dedicate your time exactly. and plan your work accordingly so uh, thank you so much uh, maniganta for sharing the inputs and it has been really amazing uh, meeting him after <laughs> such a long time uh, i came all the way from let's say frankfurt to meet him and yesterday night uh, we spent uh, uh, discussing all those things and tomorrow like we, uh, today we got a chance to uh, make a video uh on on this topic as well yeah i always love to meet you and talk <laughs> no 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 we will we'll definitely be in touch and for i'm from south yeah. but i never met anshul sir uh, oh. when i was consulting everything was on phone basically even that time oh, of this, visa this this you please tell them <laughs> <laughs> i never met them personally i never went to their office i know them through my seniors they got admission and then i took uh, sir's number i contacted him everything was on phone initially my father has a doubt like I mean, what if they give doka? <laughs> I'm revealing now. So I said, like I was convincing my father, no, I can trust you. Kind no, of thing. Every, every father, whether he's from <laughs> South Port of India, from yeah. Mumbai, like they always have the same yeah, question. True. How do we can? But but it doesn't matter. See, like yeah. if you if you're talking to us, you're speaking to us, you understand that what if you, what we are guiding you or, or explaining you are, is is the right approach. Then, yeah. then you can always uh, let us know to assist you in other services. Right? Exactly, and also I want to conclude one thing. So when I was looking for proper consultancies, in return I had explained many what is the processes. Like never, I never got any proper information when I was looking. I I searched in Bangalore and Hyderabad, uh, and some of my places in Andhra. But uh, when I spoke to An- Anshul sir, the moment when I spoke to him, okay. he has some weightage when I, because already uh, like i felt like <laughs> when i spoke to him okay he is the right guy uh, then uh, like okay i'll i'm de- i have decided to go with him i took and uh, landed in germany now chalo theek hai very nice of him to say this <laughs> because <laughs> so this is this is pure uh, love and respect yeah, that he yeah, has for me exactly. and uh, which is why i also adore him uh, very much thank you so much mani anta again for giving us your time yeah. and if you if you are uh, planning for your bachelor's and master's studies if you are planning for your ausbildung process in germany uh, if you are a doctor who is uh, trying to find an opportunity in germany to work as a full time doctor here you can definitely come up uh, with all the queries that you have uh, send a send a comment on our video you can also contact us uh, by calling us on our number uh, as well as through email So keep watching us and keep supporting us uh, thank you